I would like to uh, warmly welcome our first attendee. Thanks for joining our webinar on studying civil engineering in Germany. My name is Georgi, and as you might already know me from other webinars, I am yeah, the least interesting person for you during this afternoon, uh, the guy behind the scenes. But yeah, I'm always here to help you out. Dear attendees, for those who are not that much familiar with the Zoom webinar setting, you can see the Q&A button. It is just next to the chat button in the bottom part of your Zoom interface. It is already open and it will be open until the very end of the webinar. So feel free to ask any relevant, of course, ideally relevant, program relevant questions uh, as, as much as possible. Uh, your questions will be addressed either in the written form or live. We will have a live Q&A session in around which will start in around 15 minutes. And then all of your questions will be addressed by one of our guests directly. Again, this is a unique opportunity for you guys to get the best possible answer from the most knowledgeable people because they know the, the best about their study programs. That's obvious. Um, also keep an eye on the chat because there I will be sending some interesting information for you. Uh, for example, some links and some contact details. So keep an eye on the chat as well. Let me now start with my short presentation uh, that I prepared and before we move to our guests. So here is agenda for today. We'll start with Bauhaus Universität Weimar, and we have uh, Dr. Beinersdorf, and she will talk about Master of Science level program in natural hazards and risk in structural engineering. We'll move then to Technische Hochschule Ingolstadt, and we have Professor Dr. Bohet, and she will talk about bachelor's uh, degree uh, level program in sustainable civil engineering. And then we'll close the show with our guests from TU Darmstadt, uh, Dr. Zauerwein, and she will talk about Master of Science level program in civil engineering. So before we move to this interesting part, let me tell you very briefly who is behind today's webinar. So you might already know it's my German university. And when you are, for example, start trying to find programs in Germany, uh, which are at least mostly taught in English, our name uh, should and will pop up, I'm sure. Uh, so we are Germany's largest database when it comes to English taught study programs. We have over 2,700 de degree programs, almost already reaching 2,800 post bachelor and master's programs, which are uh, taught in Germany, at least mostly in English, and many of them are also in English only. And we also have some short courses and language courses listed in our database as well. Our main goal is to help international students who would like to pursue their studies in Germany. Uh, and we do this through three key ways. One of the ways is through our study finder. Uh, so uh, when you can see now on your screens the short version of our study finder. But when you go to mygermanuniversity.com, you click on study finder, you'll be able to see all of the, the bigger version and all of the options, all of the filters that uh, the study Study Finder offers you. For example, you can even control for the filters like uh, find the program specifically according to your TOEFL or IELTS score or according to whether the program is using UniAssist or not for administering its application from foreign students. So it can also go that, that much into detail. Um, we also write articles for students. We have right now around 150 webinars, sorry, articles regarding various topics of uh, when it comes to studying in Germany, for example, if you are coming from China and India and you need APS certificate, we have articles on that. If you're interested in scholarships, of course, we have articles on that, on rankings, we have articles on blocked accounts, on Hochschule Start, on studying medicine, and so on and so forth. All of this, of course, relevant uh, German to study in Germany topics, so to say, and all of the articles are for free, of course. Um, and we also have approximately 150 webinars per year on various topics. It can be a general webinar when I'm or my colleague is there alone without any guests. And we have, for example, we are talking about generally studying in Germany, about UniAssist, about visa, about scholarships, and so on and so forth. And the other type of webinars that we frequently also have is... Uh, the subject webinar, like the one that you're attending right now, for example, this uh, topic for today is civil engineering, but we also have webinars, for example, on mechanical engineering, on political science, philosophy, biology, and so on and so forth. All of the webinars that are al already planned, you can see them uh, in our webinar section on, on our website, and you can sign up for these webinars for free and attend them for free. We are based in Northern Germany, in Hamburg, but we are also all over Germany and all over the world. That's, where, that's why we are counseling also in different languages. For those who are uh, 
also interested in German taught study programs because your German command of German is quite good. Uh, you can also check out Hochschule Kompass. There you might find some interesting programs regarding civil engineering. Uh, but if you are more into English taught study programs, then definitely uh, my German university and our study finder should be your stop. You can see that we have various bachelor and master's programs in this direction, and most of them are in English only, which means that you do not need any knowledge of German to get into those programs and to successfully complete them in most of the cases. Um, yeah, we also have some subject pages for those who do not know what to expect when it comes to studying civil engineering in Germany. We have these subject pages where you can find some general information when it comes to studying in this topic in Germany. For example, what are the rankings of universities that are offering these subjects? Uh, what are the tuition fee ranges that you should budget for? What are the different requirements? So again, one of the, at, like this is a information at a glance when it comes to studying civil engineering in Germany, and you can familiarize yourself if you are the newcomer, so to say. Um, regarding the tip, yeah, of course, it's important to find the best university profile and best fitting study program for you. That's why you shouldn't be guided only by sole aspects like only fees, only rankings, only city names. Of course, you they are all important and you should also incorporate them during your search and during your narrowing down process. But yeah, you have to go further, even and make further steps, uh, take into account your uh, background, your interest, your career aspirations, and only then you will be able to make the right choice of the study program, which is one of the most crucial steps towards successful career, of course. Um, in Germany, there are two key types of universities that I would like you to know about. The first one is called university in English and Universität in German. And the second one is called University of Applied Sciences. And in German, it has some variations in names, for example, Hochschule, Fachhochschule are one of them. Uh, some of them so and the key difference between these two universities that I would like to focus on is in focus actually uh, so in general when it comes to universite type of university focus is more goes more onto research and theory and in case of university of applied sciences we are more talking about application and practice um Yes, in addition to the aspects that I mentioned before that you should definitely take into account while searching for the right program, when you're also trying to find programs using our study finder, make sure that you are not uh, rigid with wording, be a bit flexible, and then you will drastically increase your chances by combining all this together, you'll drastically increase your chances of making an informed decision, an informed choice of the study program that fits your backgrounds, that fits your career aspirations and your interests. That's why if it's, uh, it's of utmost importance and my suggestion would be to invest your time into searching for the right program. So actually the right program might be for you already today. You might find it today. That's why we are moving now to our first speaker. We are moving to Bauhaus University of Weimar. You can see where it's located, more or less, I would say, closer to the geographical center of Germany. And Dr. Beinsdorf, uh, she will now talk about Master of Science level program in natural hazards and risks in structural engineering. So I will stop my screen share right now and hand it over to our guest. So thank you for the introduction. I have to start my presentation. Yeah, welcome again from my side. Uh, my na uh, name is Jürgen Beinersdorf. I'm uh, the academic advisor of the master course Natural Hazards and Risks in Structural Engineering. I want to briefly discuss the motivation of our master course and the content, give you some information about the application, about our team, and also a bit, uh, I hope there's enough time to speak a bit about the faculty and um, some things you can do here uh, if you plan to, to study in Weimar this master course. First of all, um, what is the goal or the motivation of uh, NHRE? As you see in the name, um, has directly at the beginning the natural hazards, and that is the strong motivation for us. How um, to deal with different natural hazards? You see here some um, pictures colleagues have taken during the, the recent years, the last years when we were in field to, to deal with the damages and to check out what we can learn or what we can do as engineers um, to prevent these damages in the future to prepare our built environment. Um, our master course is strongly international oriented. Yeah, the students come from all over the globe. Um, the plan is to uh, train you to perform at the end uh, demanding engineering activities. Yeah, and to, to teach you modern tools, 
to perform, um, if you like, um, or go in the direction to perform risk analysis and um, to um, offer you to learn the key qualifications to be innovative and in pioneering engineers, especially in the natural hazards. And um, if we see the climate change, I think we cannot ignore it anymore. And um, that will be one of our, of our major tasks in the future to deal with these hazards and uh, to cope with that and to pre prepare the built environment. Um, I want to talk a bit about uh, the content on the modules um, and what is the plan be behind the course and then regarding to our compulsory modules. Um, we see that always as a chain of reactions and um, you see there um, the, am I possible to have here a pointer? I'm sorry, we are not using Zoom at the university. Um, we are starting uh, with the design concepts for the buildings um, bef before we, we have an, an event. And if we would have one, uh, then we train the students how to deal with these, um, to how to evaluate the data, how to interpret the data um, after an event, how to, the, to go into the field, what is necessary. And there we have modules that, uh, deal with the disaster response, the analysis of the causes, the analysis of the damage, to evaluate of the risk, and uh, to close that circle. How to, what to learn for the next event? Yeah, how to prepare better, and that is somehow inbuilt in um, the structure of the master course. Here you see a snapshot, maybe uh, for those who are interested in the master course have seen this already, that are our compulsory modules. Um, the gr gray ones are the ones that have to be taken. That means all students that participate in the master course um, will have these subjects. You have then also the possibilities to select elective and elective compulsory modules and what you, <clears throat> Sorry, you see also on um, one uh, elective module, um, the master course is totally teached in the English language, but uh, anyway, we are interested in that you train German as well to get in contact with the society, with other students that are studying here at the university. And you can also bring uh, German language modules to uh, the final degree as, as an um, subject. Then we have a variety of lot of elective compulsory courses for those who are interested in a certain direction already regarding dealing with natural hazards in structural engineering can check out this um, already and you see we have somehow more a structural engineering branch we have a structural mechanic branch and also an applied mathematic branch and depending on your interests you can mix them you can also Oops, I think we lost the sound. Is it correct? Ah, sorry. Now, now you're my, back. Yes. My, my microphone switched off. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I hope, I don't know what was the last, but here you see the several branches. Uh, the students can, that are interested to study the course, can select uh, of those. They can combine depending on your personal interest and what are the plans after finishing the master degree, if you want to go in a certain direction in your future job, or if you plan to write a PhD, what shall be the direction of this? A lot of this information you can get from our homepage. Um, uh, here is also the link you see on the top of, of this slide. And uh, you get also there all the contacts, um, which are interesting. Um, to you to get all the necessary information, to get in contact with us, to get in contact with our student office, our international office, and also to find some more links on our large homepage where you can get more information, how does, uh, the study in Thuringia would be, and how Weimar is, and so on, and also with some more information. Additional to, um, yeah, um, the normal application, let's say, if you are coming from countries um, let's say more from developing countries, countries, you have the opportunity um, to apply for a scholarship because um, our master course is part of the EPOS program of the DAD. 
and it offers seven scholarships per year where you can apply for. If you meet all the requirements, uh, you would uh, need uh, two year in practice already uh, to, to work and you can apply each year for that for the forthcoming intake and you can get a full funded uh, scholarship therefore if you're interested in do not only check out our homepage check out also the web page of the DAD because maybe for some of you that it might be interesting especially for those who need help with the financing therefore that uh, is an opportunity I want to min mention as well. Um, who is responsible for the course? What is the team? Here on the slide, you see um, the head of our master course, Professor Morgenthal and Professor Abrahamschik. And um, second, the academic counselor, myself, and our international officer, Mrs. Bode, and the examination officer, um, Mrs. Nödli. That would be the key team if you have certain questions, if you are studying here. And despite that, our um, student office can help also with all organizational things uh, here at the university and offers a lot of um, yeah, um, possibilities. A bit more regarding the faculty. Um, we are part of the Faculty of Civil Engineering and we have at the moment um, a bit more than 800 students uh, um, studying civil engineering. We are quite research oriented, therefore uh, our students have a lot of opportunities. And if you would study here in Weimar, uh, most of our students are also then working as co-workers here to help with research projects. Yeah, if you're interested in also going a bit more in the research part, you have also a lot of opportunities here as well. Um, our faculty here, I have just to, for an information, offers a lot of um, programs in the bachelor master degree. The black ones are somehow the German speaking ones and the uh, orange ones are the ones you can study in English language. And uh, our master course is one of them. And maybe because you are internationals and you are interested in, you want to know um, how our, um, yeah, how many international students do we have and where they are coming from. At the moment, we have 27% of international students at the university, all over the university, not only our faculty. And you see, we have a large group from India, Iran, Russia, China, and the following. But there's a large variety and a lot of countries are present here uh, in our uh, student body. Um, maybe beside the study, you also have some uh, events uh, during the year here uh, in Weimar. And what is really important for us and for the whole university, also for the other faculties, Faculty of Architecture and Urbanism, Media and Arts and Design, uh, is the summer area in July where all students can present the outcome of their yearly work. And uh, for those who are maybe not uh, joining um, the master course, but maybe want to have a summer school, there's an opportunity to, to take is the micro we, back. We again? can hear you. We can hear you. Okay. Uh, can take part in the summer school. And um, always every year we have a Christmas market that is quite nice uh, for the students. And a social meeting from our master course where we can meet uh, together as uh, a whole group with the teachers and so on. I think because we think that the, the social meetings are also quite important. That was quite brief from my side, more the specifics of the master course. Um, if you want to have more um, on site, how the buildings are looking like from the university and so on, feel free to check out the university homepage and get there a lot of nice information regarding the campus and uh, living in Weimar. I thank you for your attention and the questions I would answer in the chat. And you can always write me an email. Yeah, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for your presentation. And yeah, please, you can already go ahead and ask for some of the questions in the, in the Q&A. Thanks a lot for your presentation. And let us now move to our next speaker. So we are moving to Professor Dr. Boche to Technische Hochschule Ingolstadt. And she will now talk about bachelor level program. Now we are moving to bachelor in sustainable civil engineering. And you can see that uh, the university itself is located in the quite south, southern part of Germany. So let me stop the screen share. And Professor, the floor is yours.
Yeah, thank you, Georgie, for the kind introduction. And so we'll show my slide as well. So um, first of all, oops. So you can see it, so I will take the presentation. Okay, so well, I will speak uh, the Bachelor Program Sustainable Civil Engineering here in Neuburg uh, and the Donau. And first of all, I will show you a few slides of our um, University of Applied, uh, the THI. Then I will come to Neuburg. This is a special city and a special campus. And after that, I will give you some introduction about our program for our bachelor course, uh, Sustainable Civil Engineering. Uh, and at the end, um, I will give you some information about our international office, and then I'm open for the questions in the chat. So let me start. So we are a really research intensive university here in Germany. And so you can see we have 8,500 students. We have um, 190 professors and uh, 43 research professors. Uh, this is completed with six faculties and seven research institutes. This means that we are, yes, um, well done um, University of Applied Science for a high um, quality of research after your bachelor and master program, it gives you a good chance to make a PhD or um, some other scientific work. So we also have a lot of uh, big companies like Siemens, Continent, uh, BMW as well. And this means we can give you the chance for a good um, opportunity for your study works or bachelor uh, thesis and the, there you have good partners and um, yes a good surrounding for your work and for example for your uh, scientific works as well so now we have a short introduction about our university of applied science and now i will give you an overview about our special suburb of Ingolstadt, this is Neuburg, and Neuburg means we are, have 30,000 inhabitants as well as a very big castle. It's in the front picture here, you can see. We have a lot of um, activities. It's in winter time, you can swim in the Donau. As well, you can make a great, uh, you have a great time for cycling, or you make some water sports as well. We have always, uh, all two years, um, we have a big um, celebration for an historic um, party. And so everybody has the special clothes on it. They have a really good time in this little town. Because it's very important if you spend your time in a town um, during your studies to have a good time and to have a good um life and leisure time. This means that you can work and study a lot as well. And so it seems to have uh, the wage. So we have a very small campus. You can see it here. We have two buildings now. Here we have a traditional old building and uh, this on the left-hand side, we have a new building. This is only six months old and therefore we build a, a bridge over there to connect old and one and old and new buildings for the interaction and of course for the sustainability of the buildings. Uh, now I will show you a short overview of our students now. I already told you we are a small city and we are a small campus. And so to get a feeling of our study and of our students, I will show you an impression why on video. Hello from the campus Neuburg at the THI. I'm the head of the Bachelor Program Sustainable Civil Engineering. So let me introduce our campus, the students, and of course our mission of sustainable building. I'm from the Philippines. I am 21 years old and I come from Mauritius. And I'm from Russia. 
I just moved here from Romania. I'm 20 years old and I come from Palestine. And I'm from Tanzania. So let me tell you some topics, what we want to do here. We want to reduce materials. We want to make a new method for buildings with less mass, for example. I dream of becoming a project engineer and helping designing buildings. I want to be sure that my profession is useful and helpful. And Germany is one of the most sustainable countries in the world. I plan to come back to my hometown and work as a civil engineer. The things that inspired me to come to Germany is discipline, hard work and also the technology. I plan to work as a, an engineer with focus on sustainability. Engineering. Special here on the campus is that we have a tiny relationship between the profs and the students, for example. If I speak in my name, so I know everybody with his own name, and so we are very close to each other. I like the city, going around uh, through the river, it's very, very nice. It's a small city, I don't like big cities with big crowds. Ever since I was young, I was very fascinated about uh, construction. I just like buildings, I love structures. It's my dream because my father is also a construction engineer and I was very close to him growing up and he just uh, gave me his passion. With you and with your support here we want to make a lot of other steps to reduce the CO2 emission and so to stop the global warming. Okay so this was the first impression of our campus in Neuburg. And so, well, I only want to show you a uh, very uh, new uh, pictures from our uh, new building, which are planned in the year of 2028. And so here you can see we have three more buildings. The first one has a very big building with um, the classrooms. And here you see the um, cafeteria. And the other one here on the left side, yeah, these are our new laboratory buildings. So this means we have a good connection to each other. You can um, have um, yeah, small ways for your uh, classrooms as well to the laboratories and of course the cafeteria and you can uh, take an interaction of other uh, students. These are our plan because we want to reach uh, 1,200 students for the whole campus in the year of 2030. So now let me come or let me show our programs for the Faculty of Sustainable Infrastructure. Uh, in the special, I want to show you the Sustainable Civil Engineering program. And therefore our mission is to reduce CO2 emission because we are getting more uh, people each year. And that means we have um, to reduce or we have to make um, more infrastructure, buildings, foods, streets, tunnels, as well as um, flats, et cetera, et cetera. And that means we, um, yes, we uh, uh, make a higher step of the CO2 emission. And that's why we have a faculty for sustainable infrastructure. And that means, therefore, you can study a very nice bachelor program with the name of sustainable civil engineering and civil engineering is um, a really great um, yeah, program or a really great job. I am a civil engineering and a civil engineer and uh, for structural analysis. And so um, here you can see some picture who shows you what you can build or create with such an, um, yeah bachelor program. So um, I do not want to lose so much words of this page, but you can see on um, Tokyo Sky Tree for earthquakes, for the earthquakes, we make timber construction and we also make material research. And so to connect all these things, we are in a good way to reduce CO2. And this is our mission for our bachelor program. So here you can see uh, the program and the curriculum, and you can see it's a sustainable civil engineering program, but this means you're studying civil engineering with the aspect of uh, sustainable in civil engineering. So the, each model has an aspect of sustainable. Each professor makes his own experiences for sustainable, and this is our 
mission in this bachelor program. So we start uh, with me mathematics, mechanics, and with computer programming. We also have building constructions, chemistry, and building physics. And we also have a tiny small model, which means sustainability in construction. And this is a model, therefore, 12 different uh, speakers are coming to Neuburg and they will show you their aspects of sustainable in the civil engineering. And so we get rising each semester and we're getting higher. So uh, that we, oopsie, uh, that we get also reinforced design, concrete design, structural analysis, introduction of geotechnics and transports, for example, in the third semester, as well as in the fourth semesters, we also have law and uh, we have also timber construction as well. We make a um, construction internship, therefore you have to, or you can search your own company to spend 18 weeks there, and then you make your own experiences to uh, get the next steps in the sixth and then the seventh semester, and therefore we have two electives, therefore you can search or you can choose your own small way for this bachelor program. And so um, to make a conclusion, um, we have a normal um, sustainable civil engineering course a program with an aspect of sustainable in each model. And this makes it special of this bachelor program. And therefore I also make uh, some experiences of my way so you, only can create or build something in the bachelor program or in the civil engineering uh, work. You can only demolish or blast. For example, we can demolish a chimney. Therefore, um, we can yeah, demolish it and we can pick up the materials uh, in one dimension. So I will show you this um, blast. And there you can see that the uh, chimney is falling down on the soil and the soil leads to waves which are leading to vibration in some building. I also, um, you can also make some um, digitalization. And here I also want to show you a uh, video for the 5D Institute. This means here we have a simulation. So I have a simulation for you creating the building. You can see it here on the left, on the right side, on the corner on the left side, we have the calculation of the costs. And then the upper uh, window, we see uh, our time management. Therefore, I have an overview about my costs, about my process and as well of my uh, timetable. And a um, mission of, for example, to, um, make a um, calculation of the CO2 emission for each material. And therefore, we have the next step, for example, for BIM. Uh, and uh, yes, we have our own research aspects. I also want to show you, um, this is a higher level of civil engineering and wave propagation. I only want to show you civil engineering and sustainable civil engineering is not only uh, with Without any colors, we can simulate things and we can calculate nice stuff. So this is an earthquake simulation. For example, here I get the earthquakes and the latest la layer and it moves up to the soil. And this leads to the movement of this building. So I only want to show you this simulation. So this is the upper class of simulation, but I only want to give you the motivation for this study and for this bachelor program. This only you can see uh, the different colors. Here we have the earthquake, earthquake simulation. Here the moving uh, building is seen and therefore you can calculate um, your stability of uh, your components, for example, as well as of your buildings. So only to show you the simulation and that, uh, that there are nice topics uh, in civil engineering. So, uh, I only want to give you an overview now, at least, of uh, your, um, your professional fees. You can work as a construction and civil engineering companies. You can work on civil engineering offices. 
And of course, as a project manager, you can work as a structural engineer, as a structural dynamic engineer, as an environment engineer, you can work on site as a site manager, a site coordinator and calculator, and of course, as a division manager of general planners, for example. So these are only a short overview of your fields and of your working aspects. Okay, so you know everything about our program. And now I will give you an overview about you the application procedure. Here we have special links and I will give it you or I will send it you as also on the chat. Then you can copy this and you can um, apply or or uh, give or, or have some overview about some application stuffs. And so, well, we start the next application in March um, this year, and it will end at the September at 15th. Please keep in mind that you also may have uh, need some visa and some flats here in Neuburg. So um, it would be very kind uh, to make an application maybe in May or June to be safe that you arrive in October here in Neuburg. We also have an uh, international office and here you get every um, helping hands after your admission. And this means we have um, some onboarding information for, some for digital, digital consolation, some excursion and workshops because you are not the only international student here in Neuburg. We also have international students in Ingolstadt and therefore you remember we have 8,500 students there and so we are very big. So you have a good chance to connect each other and um, meet some other students from other countries. So the uh, QR codes are right and maybe you want to make a picture to get more information and therefore some excursions are given, some workshops and of course um, some ideas how you connect. We also made I have a, um, a summer semester now, and therefore we have a lot of application as well. So, well, we are rising each year, and we are looking forward to meet you, and to give you a good education for our bachelor program for sustainable civil engineering. Now, here is our team for the international office. So you, you have six persons, which uh, gives you the helping hands. And they are open hearted to give you our, the answer of all your questions. So please feel free to contact them or contact me. We are always interested to uh, give you the first step in sustainable civil engineering. And we are looking to meet you in Neuburg and der Donau. And yes, if you have any questions, so please feel free, write me an email, give me a call or give some questions here in the chat. So thank you for your attention and hope we see you in Neuburg. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor, for a very nice presentation. And yeah, we can also uh, take over some of the questions in the chat whenever you have time. And meanwhile, we will move to our last speaker for today. And once again, I will remind that we'll, everyone that will open a live Q&A session also after this presentation. We are moving to Theo Darmstadt, uh, Dr. Regina Zauerwein. She will talk about Master of Science level program in civil engineering. And here also in the map, you can see where uh, Theo Darmstadt is located. And with that, I'm handing it over to our guest. You are muted, Dr. Zauerwein. Okay. <laughs> Beginner's error. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Um, I'm just sharing my screen. So you can see the presentation right now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hello, everyone, and a very warm welcome to the presentation of our bilingual master in. Bauingenieurwesen, Civil Engineering. My name is Regine Sauerwein and I'm the International Coordinator and a staff member of the Office of Student Affairs at the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Technical University of Darmstadt. With me today, here is my colleague of the Study Advisory Service at the department, Max, who can answer especially subject specific questions regarding research or teaching, teaching content. Okay, then let's start with the presentation of our bilingual master in civil engineering at TU Darmstadt.
First of all, to give you just a short idea about the content for, uh, context for your studies, I would like to give you some facts about our department. The department consists of 27 chairs and has a very interdisciplinary character. It covers the fields of civil engineering, environmental engineering, and of geodesy. Its 13 institutes are occupied with the topics construction, planning, and water to cluster them roughly. You will find these topics represented in the research subjects of the civil engineering master program. At TU Darmstadt as a whole, there are currently about 25,000 students enrolled and about 1,800 of them study at our department. About 20% of the students of our department have an international background. Our department is located at the campus Lichtwiese, which can be translated as Meadow of Light. <laughs> Most other engineering departments of Technical University of Darmstadt are also located here. Though surrounded by forest, the campus is only 10 minutes away from the inner city by tram or by bus or by bike. In the right picture, you see a very nice place to be in the summer. This is the beer garden at the campus. So far for the department and the campus, now we're coming to the program itself. So why should you choose our master program in civil engineering? What is specific for the program? This program was designed with the intention of giving students the greatest possible freedom of choice. So what's really special about it is that you create your study plan largely individually and tailored to your specific interests. There is only one compulsory course and apart from this, a wide range of courses from the various fields of civil and environmental engineering. From solid construction, mechanics, and transport to hydraulic engineering and geodesy. In a few minutes, I will introduce the structure of the program in detail. This four semester full-time program is taught in English and in German with mandatory shares of each language. Our aim is to qualify you for working in an international and interdisciplinary context. We believe that a degree in this international program is the perfect prerequisite for entering both the German and the international labor market. As you can see in this scheme, the program structure allows an individual design of your study plan and it offers a wide range of choices. We offer 18 research subjects out of which you choose three and select one of them as a specialization in the second year. The only mandatory course is the interdisciplinary project. And even in this course, students can choose from several different project offers. The scheme also shows a wide range of about 180 elective courses. You can use the electives either to further deepen your research subjects or to broaden your professional expertise. In the fourth semester, you choose the topic of your master's thesis according to your own interests. Creating your individual study plan requires a certain amount of self-organization and personal responsibility, but we won't leave you to it. Later, I will present the various contact and counseling options that we offer in the department. I would now like to give you an overview of the variety of possible research subjects that can be chosen. Here are the offered subjects <clears throat> in the field of construction. I won't read them all to you, but I think even a short look gives you a good impression. In the field of planning, we offer two traffic-related subjects besides real estate valuation and environmental, spatial, and infrastructure planning. And our water-related subjects are water management, sanitary engineering, and hydraulic engineering. 
as this is a bilingual program, I would like to say something about the languages of instruction. The program structure provides for the basic knowledge to be taught in English language and for the in-depth knowledge, the specialization courses, to be taught in German. So in the first year, you study predominantly in English, while in the second year, you take predominantly German taught courses. All over, to finish your degree, it is mandatory to complete 42 credits each in English and German. For 36 credits, you are free to choose English or German taught courses. The master's thesis can be written either in English or in German. We require a proof of English language skills by the end of the second semester at the latest. We do not require a proof of German language proficiency. Of course, German skills are essential for the program, but we leave it up to the students to learn the language up to the necessary level in their own responsibility. Within the study program, it is also possible to spend time abroad, either as an exchange student or with the goal of a double or a dual degree. We attach great importance to individual support. Shortly after admission, you will be contacted and guided by student buddies who are in their master's studies at our department and who will help you to orientate at the university, the city and the region and at the department. They offer several workshops to give you a good start for your studies and are open to your questions. The International Student Service supports you in visa issues and in finding an accommodation, opening a bank account or in appointments uh, with the foreigner's office. The Student Advisory Service helps you in creating your individual study plan and can answer subject related questions. The study office team supports you in organizational issues and explains program and study related regulations. And last but not least, in the first semester, you will be assigned a professor as mentor who will support and advise you in specific professional questions or questions about career options. To end this brief presentation, I would like to show some impressions from the teaching and research. On the left, you see a picture from an excursion to the production site of the aerated concrete block Itong. The picture in the middle stems from a research project in strengthening of thin sheets for use in civil engineering. And the picture on the right shows results from the interdisciplinary student project in which students plant bridges that later were printed using a 3D printer. The Deep Forest Project is carried out by the Institute of Geodesy and deals with remote sensing methods for estimating the lower layers of forest vegetation. In the middle, you see an experiment in hydraulic engineering and the vision tower as a particularly lightweight tower construction was developed by students in constructive design. So much for the program presentation. I thank you very much for your attention. I would be very pleased if you enjoyed this information about the program and if I may welcome you as a student in our department in one of the next semesters. I hope that we have roused your interest and look forward to your questions. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Very good presentation. And yeah, let me now open the floor for the questions actually thanks everyone who already participated in answering the questions in the chat many very a lot of questions answered in the chat thanks a lot everyone for that there are some open and uh, let me start with them maybe um okay so let me start with this one exactly for darmstadt it's not not answered yet would you say b1 german would be a good entry point for the program for darmstadt yes i would because um, students start mainly with English in the first year and 
this was exactly the idea in, in the creation of the program to give students the chance to improve their English, uh, their, their German skills within one year and to get ready for the German taught courses or modules in the second year. Yes, B1 would definitely be a good starting point in German. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, Professor Bochert, now question for you. Um, what are the application requirements? What documents do you need from the applicants? Okay, so, well, um, I'm not um, the expert of the application because we have um, a special, um, sorry, my uh, energy is out. Okay, so we have a special uh, uh, field here for the application. Um, that's why I also implement in the chat uh, the link for the application. There you can find every information of the application skill and it seems very easy because we have a lot of um, students which reach this application uh, with uh, very high success. So uh, please be so kind um, and follow the link. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you very much. The link is in the chat, dear attendees. I hope you can also see it as I see it. Um, okay. One question for Dr. Beinersdorf. Uh, the question is, also, you addressed already this question in the chat, but to make voice up once again, do you require or prepare for LEED certification? Yeah, I answered this also in the chat. Um, no, we don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that is a thing for the US. We are not preparing for that. I would need to check what, what is, but we don't do this. Okay. Great. And we don't require it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. That's good to know. Now I have two questions regarding this topic. Let me combine them and let me start with you again, Dr. Beinstorff. So uh, would you, so the question is regarding, um, so uh, the housing. Uh, so what would be your advice, so to say, regarding the housing at your location, when students should apply, how available the, uh, the housings are, dormitories, for example, and so on and so forth. Um, when it comes to regarding housing, um, I follow this procedure. As soon as the students get an admission, mm -hmm. you will get an email from my side to apply for the dormitories as soon as possible. It opens in April mm -hmm. here in Weimar, and mm -hmm. it's highly uh, requested. Therefore, I, I recommend not to postpone the application until the latest date because also the visa process takes a bit time and I inform about that. But despite that, we have also an open market here that, that is um, yeah, high, highly demanded. Therefore, it is affordable, but um, at, at the moment um, we have, yeah, if there's uh, the internationals need help, we have study guides that help in this direction regard but normally all the students get somehow in housing. But for the internationals, I recommend to apply as soon as possible when you know you start to study in Weimar to apply for the dormitories because I think that's most convenient for you as internationals. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Same question for you, Professor Bochert. Uh, okay, so the question was, sorry again. Uh, regarding what would be your general advice in terms of for students who would like to have the housing, find the housing, dormitories? Okay, yes. Yeah, so, well, we have a special internet page, so I can get you the link there for. And we have special uh, apartments here on the campus in Neuburg. Um, they have a special apartment for the international student as well as for the German student, and they are living close to each other. Keep in mind that there are two persons' rooms. Mm -hmm. And... Um, if there are, if you need some help, so we are also here a very close and tiny campus. So come to me or come to the campus manager and we will find a solution or write us an email. So this is the fastest way. But the, we have a lot of um, opportunities um, to reach flats as well as student, student in Wunheimer. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. And same question for Till Darmstadt. Yeah, um, the housing market in Darmstadt is quite tense, <laughs> to be, we, we must say. So it's, uh, um, it's not so easy for students to find uh, find accommodation, but TU Darmstadt supports especially international students in finding accommodation via the International Student Services. 
Um, there are, of course, student dormitories for our students, but they do not suffice for all our students, 25,000. Um, so students should be a little bit flexible. Um, for example, um, keeping in mind that also the surrounding area at Darmstadt is very well connect connected to the city. And um, if you search a little bit outside of the city, um, then you will, yeah, you will easier find that or a, a shared flat maybe. Okay. Yeah, maybe just to add uh, on that, I sent also in the link, uh, the housing assistant of TU Darmstadt link. So uh, even if you are not, cannot apply for dormitories uh, or non-commercial dormitories of TU Darmstadt, uh, you can find help there or use one of the internet web platforms to yeah look for a shared flat or something. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for the addition. Uh, Professor Bochert, one, a question for you. Uh, is there a German language class before the start of the regular classes that we can attend? Yes. Uh, well, so where we are planning uh, for a special German uh, class, and we also have German courses here in Neuburg for all people. So there you can take part of these kind of course. And so um, yes, keep in mind that we are starting with this bachelor program last year or last semester. So we are in the second semester and therefore we have a lot of potential to, um, yes, uh, to plan such German courses for you. Okay. But in in Neuburg we have uh, some other um, language schools. Therefore, you can take part of these kind of schools. Yes. And uh, thank you very much. And could you? There was a follow up question. Could you remind us uh, what was the exact level of English that you required? Was it C one level? No, it is. I think it's B two. Yes, mm -hmm. it's B two. Yes. Perfect. Thanks a lot. Uh, now, two questions, I mean, the same question for master's uh, degree programs. So let me start with uh, Theo Darmstadt in this case. Is, is there any specific GPA that you require for the applicants to have in order to qualify? No, no, we make an individual re review of documents. So we review each um, transcript of records of an applicant. Um, and what is important for us is that um, a couple of um, special uh, subjects have been um, have been taken successfully, mm -hmm. and we also have um, a self competence statement that we ask applicants to fill in um, in order for them to to know about our rec um, 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 requirements. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, and this is exactly what we what we later search for in the in the transcripts of records. We re we also require course descriptions so that we can really find out what the qualifications are mm -hmm. and if the if the applicants fit to our program. But mm -hmm. there's no no specific GPA required. Clear. Okay. And in Weimar. So, yeah, in Weimar, we have a GPA that is required. Uh, what you need to study NHRE is that you need to successfully have passed a bachelor in uh, of science in civil engineering um, with a, a German equivalent grade of 2.5, at least. Uh, it is also all we recommend uh, that, that you have uh, good basics in structural engineering, steel construction, reinforced concrete, uh, geotechnics, because it should be in your interest to successfully pass at the end the master if you come to Germany and study abroad. And uh, that is the interest behind that. And uh, if you didn't do a Bachelor of Science, then you might have the project work or something like that. Then uh, if you apply via UniAssist, you are requested to upload such a document or a part of it uh, just to prove that you know a bit how to work scientifically. And uh, that uh, is not that is uh, something that is forwarded to us and we check this uh, with your application. And additional regarding uh, English proficiency, we have the level of the upper B2 level. 
-hmm. Yeah, and um, the specific numbers are given on our homepage under this uh, uh, tab uh, application. And feel free to write me an email because then I am replying you again with all these information um, if you men maybe not get something here. Yeah, Perfect. at this detail. Thanks. Thanks a lot for openness to answer questions all the time. <laughs> That's perfect. And last question maybe for today, and then we can call it a day. Um, so there was a question whether students can work as, a as assistants of professors in relevant projects, part-time, for example. Let me start with you, uh, Dr. Weinersdorf, because you already addressed this question maybe once again to um, voice it up. Yeah. Um, uh Actually, a lot of our students that are studying the master course are also working as, as co-workers, student co-workers at different chairs, mm -hmm. either as tutors or uh, in research projects. That often relates to their personal interests. Also, uh, I wouldn't suggest to take part uh, in such a work if you are not really interested in a topic and mm -hmm. you have already the goal to go something in more detail and, and you have somehow a goal in that. But mm -hmm. that is possible here. And normally, the students start to work as, as co-workers uh, in the second semester. The first semester is quite dense when you start here. You have to manage to You come to Germany, you start to live here, new culture, uh, it gets winter, it gets darker and so on. A lot of things to do. But in summer semester, a lot of our students are doing that. And it's normally around 30 to 40 hours per month. Um, if you are studying part-time, then maybe more. And uh, during the master thesis, also some students are combining their uh, co-working with their master thesis topic and going more deeper into research. That That is quite often the case. Perfect. Thank you very much for your comprehensive answer. Uh, Theo Darmstadt, the same question. Yeah, thank you. Um, yes, of course, it is possible to work as a student assistant. Um, and I know quite many do so, but maybe Max can tell a bit more about it because he's much more into the teaching content and, and the research content than, than I am. Yes, Regina, thank you. Um, yeah, actually, I can repeat a lot of uh, Ms. Beinersdorf uh, already said. Uh, it's quite the same here, maybe in addition to that, uh, since TU Darmstadt is a quite big university, I don't know how it's uh, with uh, the other universities, how it's about the other universities, uh, but since we have a big university, um, for example, I as a research assistant work on um, research projects and supervised by my professor, and um, uh, within the research project is uh, common to have some student assistants who uh, either work uh, within the project and get supervised by myself, um, not that often by the professor himself or herself. And, um, but there's also an option to uh, also contribute uh, or work as a student uh, within the teaching uh, courses. So mm -hmm. not in um, research, but in teaching. Mm -hmm. And both options are possible, but um, yeah it should be clear that maybe not all but 10 to 20 percent of the students are working as student workers at university okay great thank you also for these numbers <laughs> that's perfect and yeah uh, professor Bochet, from your side uh, yes thank you so we also offer some student jobs uh for with the professors so they can have them um not as in the way as uh, in TU da Darmstadt or uh, in Weimar, but uh, we have very close and tiny jobs. For example, they can make uh, better uh, slides for our professors, search some literature. And of course, they make some events. So we have a special uh, event with uh, the students, a circular uh, economics, for example, and therefore they make some small events for example, some discussions for litters and um, recycling things. They offer a clothing market as well. And so this is, um, yes, um, with the helping and hands for with the professors. So um, we offer also in the bachelor program some student works. Yes. Okay, perfect. 
And from my side, Aditya, just quickly to answer your question, yes, of course, it's valuable. More experience and more relevant you have, it's better and it's easier to find a job afterwards, of course. All right. Um, that's great. Thank you very much, everyone. I have a special thank you slide also <laughs> for the guests. Thanks a lot for your uh, presentations. Thanks a lot for answering the questions in the chat. Also live, very compressive answers, honest answers. That's always appreciated. And for your openness to ask for more and more for follow-up questions, dear attendees. So as you could hear, if you have any follow-up questions, if you'd like to elaborate more on some topics, you can get in touch uh, with the guests, with our guests, and they will help you out to find the answers to your questions. If you have any general questions, like Uniasis was mentioned, Visa was mentioned, I saw in the questions 18 months Visa and stuff like this, uh, these kind of general questions, you can also find answers also regarding the DAD scholarship. You can find answers in our, um, uh, in our articles, for example, during our uh, general webinars or also during uh, you can get in touch with us through our social media especially and we can help you out with that as well and for now i would like to say once again thanks everyone and i wish you a very nice rest of the day and hopefully we'll meet each other on our future webinars take care and bye bye